On a hill above Zagreb, there is the monumental city cemetery, Mirogoy. Its promenades and arcades are a treasure trove of history, culture, architecture and memories of the citizens of the Croatian capital. Each field and each marvellous tombstone has a story to tell. Mirogoy is also special because it is the final resting place of people of many different religions and nationalities. It is a rarity on the global scale. Even though the majority of the graves are Catholic, there are also Islamic, Orthodox, Jewish and other graves. But it wasn't always like that. In 1876, when Zagreb had only 20,000 inhabitants, it had a dozen cemeteries divided according to religion and class. The town authorities decided to build a single large cemetery. The hill of Mirogoy used to be the home of Ludovic Gai, the leader of the Croatian revival in the 19th century. After his death, the town authorities brought the land. The magnificent domed arcades were designed by Hermann Bolle, the architect who built or renovated the most important city monuments. The first burial at Mirogoy took place in 1876. It was Miroslav Singer, the first fencing teacher in Zagreb. Nowadays, a host of great Croatians lies at Mirogoy. Many of them are in the beautiful arcades. The cemetery is also a record of the turbulent Croatian history. It contains soldiers from both world wars. The Wall of Pain commemorates all those who died or disappeared in the Croatian War of Independence. Mirogoy is both a cultural and artistic monument. Its graves were decorated by the greatest Croatian artists. Ivan Rendic, Robert Frangesh Mihanovic, Ivan Meštrovic, Antun Agustincic, Jozo Krajkovic and many others. Even though it is the place of remembrance and sadness, its shaded promenades and wonderful arcades give peace to the citizens and other visitors. Every day, Mirogoy welcomes tourists who visit one of the greatest attractions of Zagreb. They say they come here because it is one of the most beautiful European cemeteries.